We've really seen some great jerseys out of teams over the years, but you get a little bit nostalgic for some of the older styles. When they approved the rule allowing you to have a second helmet, we all kind of figured we were going to go back to a throwback. returning NFL throwback jerseys stack up against one another, time to rank them from worst to first. Number 8. Cleveland Browns These throwback uniforms aren't exactly horrible. In fact, we'd argue they're actually better than the vast majority of Cleveland Browns jerseys that we've seen throughout their history. As we've stated several times, it's awfully hard to put together a quality team logo and uniform when your name is Browns, a tribute to the franchise's co-founder and first ever head coach. But. Nah, they don't look too similar to the white jerseys of their in-state rivals, the Cincinnati Bengals. Even if we don't like the Browns' regular home and away uniforms, they're at least different from their AFC North foes. The 1946 patch is a nice way of paying homage to the Browns' inaugural season 77 years ago, we suppose. And again, we certainly wouldn't complain if the Browns had opted to make these their full-time white jerseys. But in terms of throwbacks, they've really got nothing on the other throwback uniforms that are returning here in 2023. We will semi-pardon the organization, though, since it is impossible to come up with a good color scheme given their team name. Number 7. New York Jets Things haven't been this exciting for the New York Jets fanbase since, honestly, I don't know, their last trip to the AFC Championship game back in 2010? I mean, they are the owners of football's longest playoff drought after all. The Jets completed a blockbuster with the Green Bay Packers to trade for four-time league MVP and future Hall of Famer Aaron Rodgers. He's already by default the best QB this team has had in half a century since Joe Namath's final season with the organization. That is the main reason for optimism in Jets land. If you're a lifelong fan who grew up cheering for this team in the post-Namath era, you're probably thrilled about their throwback jerseys returning. But you know, we really aren't that high on them. The Jets, like the Browns, cement a bottom two spot on this list for simply bringing back a white jersey as their throwback. Why couldn't they have brought back any of the main green-colored uniforms pre-2019? Secondly, these so-called throwbacks are hardly any different than the Jets' regular away uniforms. And all white jerseys with pants are just kind of boring these days. The Jets are calling these the Legacy White Uniforms, and they are a tribute to the white jerseys that the AFC East Club wore from 1979 to 89. That era of Jets football was led by the New York Sack Exchange, a prolific pass rush foursome of Mark Gastineau, Abdul Salam, Marty Lyons, and Joe Klecko. New York will wear these unis for two contests, their Week 1 Monday Night Football season opener at home versus the Buffalo Bills, and in Week 4 against the defending Super Bowl champion Kansas City Chiefs on Sunday Night Football. Make no mistake, we are always here to celebrate a team history by going the throwback way. But the Jets would have been higher on this list if they went with a green jersey instead of these meh white ones that are hardly looking any different than their current main whites. Number 6. Tennessee Titans Okay, now we're in the territory where we love and dig all of the remaining throwback jerseys. In many other years, the Titans' Houston Oilers throwbacks would be much higher on a list like this. Too bad they waited until 2023 of all years to bring them back, because we would love to have them right near the very top of this list. But better late than never, we suppose. The Titans franchise, of course, was previously based in Houston from 1960 to 96, where they went by the Oilers. After the franchise relocated to Nashville in 1997, they opted to retain the Oilers' team name for two years before switching to the Titans in 1999. Like the Jets, the Titans will wear these Love Ya Blue uniforms for two home games in 2023. And they sure are gonna look good and feel good while hopefully playing good. These are some slick colors that would also work as full-time uniforms in today's NFL. I mean, the turquoise, white, and red colors make up a nice combination that give the players a superhero-like appearance. Not really sure exactly how well DeAndre Hopkins will perform in his first year with the Titans, but he is sure gonna look darn good in those love you blues, wouldn't you say? Number 5. New England Patriots We have long called for the Patriots to bring out their old dominant red throwback jerseys more often. And incredibly, after their Week 7 2012 home game against the New York Jets, the Patriots wouldn't bring these out for another 10 whole years. Finally, those red unis made their long-awaited return when the Patriots hosted and soundly defeated the Detroit Lions in Week 5 of last year. Well, the Patriots announced that these slick throwbacks will be worn for their Week 2 home game against the AFC East rival Miami Dolphins and in their Week 13 home tilt against Justin Herbert to Los Angeles Chargers. And yeah, guess what? We are digging every little bit of it. The dominant red colors are just so perfect for a club named Patriots. 
And we have stated before that we're not oh so keen on the new set of unis that the Patriots introduced in 2020. You know, the first of the post Tom Brady era. So the more this red over the mean navy home jerseys, the better. Sign us up for these every single day of the week. Number 4. Seattle Seahawks Death taxes and Seattle Seahawks displaying some of the league's best jerseys, this time in the throwback department. The Seahawks have mastered their jersey colors and designs for as long as we can remember, so of course they'll be in the top half of this year's rankings. The Seahawks are throwing it back to the 90s for their Week 8 home showdown against the Cleveland Browns. These beauties consist of royal blue jerseys with silver helmets and gray pants. A true 80s-90s vintage style. The 90s weren't exactly kind to the Seahawks. They had just two winning seasons and made the playoffs only once in 1999, which resulted in a one-and-done outing against the Miami Dolphins. But you know, they sure looked good out on the field, even if they weren't exactly playing inspiring football. Now that they're back in relevance and Super Bowl contention, the Seahawks will look good while dominating on the field. Our only real complaint is that the Seahawks are only wearing these for one of their eight home games in 2023. Why not bring them out for like two or three games? Alright, we do suppose the main home jerseys are too fancy and slick to be put on this shelf more than once. Oh well, bottom line, the Seahawks crushed it here, and they will certainly make a little extra cash at the team store. Number 3. Philadelphia Eagles Back in March, Eagles owner Jeffrey Lurie confirmed that the Eagles would bring back their Kelly Green jerseys in 2023. Since the season, we'll, we'll reintroduce the classic Kelly Green, and I'm super excited. And, uh, um, you know, I don't know what date that's going to be, but uh, it'll, I think the fans will love it. It's, it's why we're bringing it back. We really took the feedback seriously over the years, and uh, the first moment we could get the Kelly Green helmet approved, uh, we'll, we'll finally be able to see it on the field. Their social media accounts had some fun teasing us about the reveal date, too. Regardless of the date reveal and regardless of which game or games they wear them in, the fact that the Kelly Greens are making a comeback is more than enough to keep us happy for now. Now, don't get us wrong. The current Midnight Green jerseys are among the very best in not only the NFL, but in all of sports, period. But the Kelly Green jerseys were a unique color and design that you just don't see in the sporting world often, which is why we're thrilled that they're making a comeback. Surprisingly, the Eagles haven't actually worn the Kelly Green outfits since week one of the 2010 season against the Green Bay Packers. The Kelly Greens just have an awesome vintage color and design, and they would have looked beautiful in any previous decade, anywhere from the 1930s to the present day, and we cannot wait to see them return. Number 2. Tampa Bay Buccaneers The Buccaneers were genius for bringing back the Super Bowl era jerseys in 2020, the first season with Tom Brady in the fold. Not just because the Bucs went on to win their second Super Bowl that year, but the colors were actually 10 times better than the old crappy ones they wore in the Jabez Winston era. Still, a little bit of a throwback never hurt anybody. And we are fully in love with the Buccaneers orange creamsicle throwback jerseys that'll be worn for their week 6 contest against the Detroit Lions. The orange creamsicles were the Bucks' main home uniforms from their inaugural season in 1976 until 1996 before they switched them up. Despite the orange creamsicle popularity, the Bucks haven't actually worn them since the 2012 season. But finally, after a long 11 year wait, that is finally about to change. We are finally re-entering the orange creamsicle era for one day. A one day return is better than an 11 year absence though, right? Number 1. Minnesota Vikings we really could have made a strong case for any of the other uniforms in the top six to be number one. They've all got their strengths and practically no weaknesses after all, but we had a tough time keeping the Vikings and their slick throwbacks out of the top spot. There's just too much to love about them. We can only compare it to falling in love with somebody at first sight. The Vikings are wearing their old purple jerseys from the 1960s and 1970s Fran Tarkenton slash Bud Grant era. Over this period, the Vikings enjoyed their greatest run in franchise history to date, one that saw them play in four Super Bowls. But of course, since it is the Vikings, they lost all four of them. The Vikings will be wearing these jerseys for their home opener in week one against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, another club that's throwing it back this year. If only the Bucks would wear their orange cream skills for this tilt too, wouldn't that just be great? As long as purple remains the dominant color, the Vikings will always be in the top five of our uniform rankings. Throwback jerseys, color rush jerseys, alternate jerseys, regular home jerseys, you name it. Man, Justin Jefferson and company are gonna look so freaking cool wearing these. Uh, hopefully Vikings fans can do their parts and buy a bunch of them at the team shop so that the club gets the hint and actually wears them annually. But how would you rank all eight NFL throwback team uniforms for the 2023 season from worst to first? Let us know in the comment section below. Yeah, if you liked this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps out a ton, and hey, we appreciate it. 
If this is your first time coming around to TPS though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.